Good morning. Can you hear okay? I'm, I'm Elizabeth Stubbs. I've been part of this beautiful church body uh, since 2018 when I moved to Lynchburg. I'm going to attempt to explain something that I am figuring out myself, and that is what it means to live missionally. At first, I thought living missionally was something that had to be planned and fully intentional, like going on a mission trip to another country or to Appalachia or to the site of a natural disaster or serving meals somewhere. I overthought this. No surprise. No surprise. Any of those examples are certainly times of living missionally, but as Garvisa said last Sunday, Christ lives in me. His wisdom, his love, compassion, and teachings live in me. Christ's life flows through me, blended with my personality, to love and encourage others right where they are, or right where he planted me. Living missionally actually is, is intentional. It's also organic and continual. One environment the Lord has planted me in is through my online job advising college and graduate students. Working for Liberty University, I have the privilege of speaking about Christ and praying with students when appropriate. My favorite part of the work is training new advisors who are often overcome with anxiety about all kinds of weird things that can happen. I talk them through scenarios like getting yelled at getting blamed for things that happened last year. Speaking with someone or understanding someone who has a very strong accent and speaking with a student who may be crying and devastated. I try to make the trainees laugh, relax, and be reminded of their many strengths. The other environment the Lord has placed me in is at Pearls of Life Memory Support. Mom has moved there five months ago from 100 miles away Mom is a spirited, active, and humorous Southern lady, twice widowed. Time together is fun and peaceful. We sit side by side in the evening, gazing at the clouds and the airplanes. I always wonder if Christian's in one of them. Um, we listen to the birds. We look at family pictures. Mom loves going for rides and rolling through the cookout drive through for a milkshake. I spend time with her often and pray for her before I leave. It's very simple and sweet. It's a late-in-life friendship. I discovered missional moments also with the hardworking care staff at the memory support. The residents all have dementia and Alzheimer's, so the days are rough. Most of the care staff work several 12- or 14-hour days in a row. I have observed patience, kindness, and gentleness these ladies show in their exhaustion. I'm trying to learn their names and details about their lives to form a connection. I pray with and for many of these ladies. I've prayed with the daughter of another resident who is very worried about her own mother's aggressive and confusing behavior. Listening and praying is what I can offer, and Jesus is right there amidst it. At night, I tell mom, do not be frightened or do not be dismayed. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go, Joshua 1.9. I know mom believes this, but it sure is sweet to be able to remind her. <laughs>